the Royal Hotel, just opposite the Sheerness Parish Church along the Broadway in Sheerness you'll find the impressive looking 19th century Royal Hotel. The hotel was once known as the Kent House and has a reputation locally for being haunted. The upstairs part of the Royal Hotel is said to be haunted by a ghost of an old lady. Spook witnesses have reported seeing a ghostly apparition sitting on her favourite sofa. The hotel cellar is also said to be haunted. Apparently it's haunted by many ghosts which are mostly believed to be children. Welcome back to Southie Spirit Quest. We're here tonight in the Royal Hotel, which is in Sheerness on the Isle of Sheppey in Kent. Uh, I'm joined tonight with uh, my colleague Steve uh, to investigate paranormal activity. Tonight we've inv been invited along by Sarah, who's the manager here, but tonight we have with us Lisa, who's just... Unfortunately, we couldn't show the introduction to Lisa, the deputy manager, as it's at this point, whilst editing, we noticed the film footage was corrupted, which we cannot explain. I'd like to introduce you to the rest of the team from South East Spirit Quest. We've got Steve, who's an investigator, Chris, a resident medium, Callum, who's a cameraman, Zoe and Sandra, and Colin, who is a cameraman as well. So let the activity begin. <laughs> Okay, we're downstairs in the cellar where we're just about to open up uh, and ask some questions um, just to see if we can get some activity down here. We do have the bar above us, so you are going to get some sort of noise pipes and there's some pipes and currently there's a like, ripping noise water, coming yeah. from this area here are you getting that that dripping might i think it might be picking it up faint yeah picking it up faint okay right okay so we'll call out and see if anything happens so if there's any spirits here can you come forward on the table here, we've got a REM pod, K2, and what's the other device you put there, Rod? It's just an RM meter. Okay. So if there's any spirits here, can you come close? Can you give us a sign that you're here? Can you go close to the REM pod? There's a little device that's lit up on the table. If you go close to those, the lights will flash. Can you move one of your chairs that's here? We're told you don't like chairs being moved. If we move them, you'll put them back. Can you show us how you do that? Can you move one of the chairs? Just to let you know that that dripping noise is still going on in the background there. I'm just gonna bring Chris in. Um, medium just to see if there's anything that you're picking up on at all at the moment. Not at the moment. No, I haven't picked anything up in here. No, I'm I not mean, sensing if the anything. If the chairs are being moved and see someone's a bit possessive about them, but I don't think it's this area as opposed to them maybe. Mm. But I'm not picking anything up at the moment. What about you, Steve? No, very quite. The K2, my K2 is on. Nothing's happened yet. Okay. No activity. Come on, can you make a noise? Can you make another knocking noise? Copy the dripping. What was that? What was that? I heard that. Mm -hmm. Can you do that again, please? Can you make it louder for us? Could you knock again, please? Can you video in at the back there at all? What was that? Can you video at the back there? Out there? If you can record at the back, then there's anything that's up, because I've heard two knocks now. I've heard two knocks. 
The bar doesn't run along this bit here. No. This one's just falling down. So this bit would be under the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, so if I'm trying to work it out the building way. Because so earlier on you could actually hear footsteps down across that, couldn't mm. you, Rod? Yeah. Yeah, unless we look at where we are physically. Mm. Unless someone was in the kitchen. Can you come forward, please? Can you show yourself? You mean no harm? We just come to talk to you tonight. Come on, we've heard you knock twice. Can you knock again for us? I didn't get anything from the vibrations off the chair, so we decided to sit on the chairs around the table to continue our investigation. Whoever's sitting here in this chair is the main person. Mm -hmm. Out of the rest of the people that are sitting here. And I'm still getting that this is where, I don't know, there was meetings or gambling or I don't know, but there, there was something and that's why they like it this way because this lead person here that's where he sat that was the chair and this is where the people came to him mm -hmm. okay do you want me to tell you what I picked up yeah okay so I, I picked up that there was definitely a man mm. very possessive over that chair yeah when this was in the bar that was his chair mm -hmm. has always been his chair always sat there and and that's really why doesn't my people in in that seat. Um, but do you sense why he's here? Because that was his seat and he was a regular and he was there and he didn't want anyone else sitting in it. And I think everyone would have known. See, that. I sense that. Something's just touching the leg. Mm -hmm. I sense they came down here. Yeah. Not that this was upstairs, but they came down here. This was their like den. No, I didn't pick that up. I didn't pick anything up with this area. Unless that's what they done up there. Mm -hmm. That's what I picked up when that chair was up there, or that table. That was that person's chair. And he's still obviously possessive about it, or at least the vibrations around it are possessive. Mm. I'm still getting the feeling though that people come here, are you not getting that? No, I think, uh, if anything, I think there's something out in the corridor. Um, this to me personally just feels quiet at the moment. I think possibly later on it could get a bit busier, but at the moment I'm not really picking up, I mean our gadgets aren't doing anything. No. I think we'll be down can we, who's got that torch? Yeah. Is I mean, that you, we, would you mind turning that torch off? Yeah. I mean, it's like to do some cool right. notes if we yeah, need so to. I was just going to do that. Do you mean that's true? Okay. <laughs> I can say what? Well, you can tell you what you know. Well, what I'm going to do, we're going to call out now and see if there's anything, see if anything's happened. Right, have we got your spirit people here? Yeah. If we have, can you join us, please? Don't be afraid of us. Use their energy. Thank you. We just come to say hello to you tonight. I'm going to put my cat on the table. Can you change the lights on this? If you come forward and walk towards it, the lights will change. We have another gadget there. You can see a red light and go walk towards that. If, you, if you're a bit shy, can you make a noise from the corridor, please? Can you move something? No. 
I'm stuck to you. Whereabouts? Down low or? Like literally. Just above, yeah. That's where I had mine touched. Oh my god. But it weren't just a little bit, it was quite a lot. Mm. Which is what I thought you were touching the top, I was saying. Not unless I've got really long arms. <laughs> <laughs> if that's you touching Callum's leg, can you touch? We've got Zoe here on the right. Is that you, Zoe? <laughs> Can't see, it's the pitch black. Um, can you touch Zoe's leg? She just said it's me, so if you can go to Zoe. Can you touch her leg? Can you touch somebody else's leg other than mine and Callum's? Come on, if there's any spirits here, we welcome you to come forward. Use our energy from us, from the devices. Either show yourself, touch one of the devices on the table that have got the lights on. If you come close, they'll light up, they'll change colours. If I show you, if you come really close to this, that will make a noise and make some pretty lights. It won't harm you in any way. Can you copy this? Can you make a tapping noise? I just heard a scratching noise. Where did you hear that? Over where Callum's in. Right in his direction. I heard like a little knock. Yeah, it was a little knock. It was like a little knock behind me. That's why I looked behind. Yeah. Alright, thank you very much. Can you do it louder, please? Again, copy me. I've got something on the camera. What have you got, Rod? When you knocked. What did you get? Like tapping noises, but very faint. Oh, brilliant. Oh, okay. Can you Thank do it again? Can you do it louder? Do it again, Steve. Can you copy me, please? Can you do three taps? Did you just hear a tap by you? Every time you tap, I'm getting the um, audio bar moving, the amount of times you're knocking, but I can't hear anything on or through the headphones. I've just heard. Is it? Mm -hmm. I feel it, I should, Chris, I'll tell you something really bizarre. I can see you, your profile, but your head's missing. It looks like your head's disappeared. I don't know what it means or what you think, but I'm looking at you, but you, you've got no head. Mm. I, I can see that. No, no, no. I can see his head. I can't 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 see his no, it's like, I thought it was like someone wheezing. So I heard that. And I've can, got it on camera as can well. Can you make that noise again, please? Did you hear that? Like up some breathing? I think that was the possibly point of the kitchen there. Yeah. But no, I heard someone breathing. But we're both picking up here, really sore of throat, rasping. Bad and I've got, I've got shaky, I'm shaky. Yeah. What, cold shaky or? No, shaky like I've need 
like I need something. Yeah. You know oh, when right, yeah. like, yeah. like sugar's going. Yeah, down. yeah, and my legs were really heavy. Yeah. Oh, I've never had that before. Yeah. Mm. See, I feel quite sick, like sicky feeling. It was at this point certain members of the group, including Lisa, the deputy manager, started to be affected. Could it be that he's setting up what he would have upstairs down here? Possibly, yeah. I think I feel that he was he, he was he was up. You know, would have been upstairs, and he would, that would have been his anyway. That seat, that table. Yeah. And yeah, he would have set it down here. Probably people down here drink down here. You know. Mm. I, I do feel these conditions around him though, and he's quite. A, Quite a, sort of a burly sort of chap. Do your legs feel really heavy? Like yeah. you just want to yeah. <laughs> sit down. Yeah, sort of like wandering through there, carrying something with him. Yeah, plonking it down, sitting down there. Yeah, when would really out of breath? When would when would he have died? Oh. How long ago would this have all been? We don't know. I mean, Quite just looking at what he's wearing, it doesn't he doesn't look. It's not like Victorian times or even war times. Probably the other side of that, maybe the could be more recent. Sixties, maybe seventies, even. But he's certainly, he's certainly this chap. How old was he? Do you know? I mean, looking at him, looks sort of maybe in his, from what I can see, sort of like in his fifties maybe. Might have been a little bit older, might have been a bit younger, but he's a bit out of shape, shape, you know? Yeah, he's definitely out of shape. He's a bit out of shape. I've got really bad sort of Somewhat, you know, balding on top, quite chubby, really chesty. Chris, are you getting the name through? Not yet, not yet. I mean, he's not really showing himself that much. Did you, he's not really. Did you hear the name I just said? No, sorry. Okay. See if you get a name through. Throughout the evening, it became apparent that the energy within the cellar started to affect our equipment. What was that? Mm. That's scratching up there. Sounded like it did. Did, did, did. Someone scratched mm. like the roof. Just there. Yeah. I do think that if there's someone here on their own, or a pair, and you're sitting there, it'll be more, he'll show himself a little more. I think the fact that we're all here is probably I think this man as back. well was the respected one out of all the other people that sat around the table with him. Do you think mm. more like a gangster? Yeah. That's what I'm or getting. like a... Like hell, hell, hell court sort of thing. Right? Yeah. I'm not saying that, uh, but first I was thinking more sort of on the gambling side. Yeah. About like full switch out. Yeah, he, more if, if there was something going down, mm. he was the leader, he controlled it, he was the one that said about it, and, and not many the other guys would come. Here. No. But this is, where, this is where he held his meetings. Not mm. necessarily, I don't know whether it was down here or whether it was. Like Rodney said, how does everybody feel? I feel really, yeah. I feel sick. I'm like feeling really, really, like, really, like, really, really hot. Really dry. It's like a top heaven. Yeah. I've got, I've got sore throat and my legs like feel like weighing down. On yeah, top. exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's how I feel. No. Like I keep getting that smell. That's about it. Yeah, there's that old smell about it's it, isn't it? Sort of unclean, smell. sort of stale smell about it. That, that's what he like brings dusty. with him. Yes. But he brings that with him. Though. I wouldn't want to be down on my own, I have to say. Can you give us something else? Can you give us some sort of sign that you're here? A knocking, a breathing. Can you touch someone? Oh, it was down there, wasn't it? Can you do that again, please? If you're possessive about this table and chairs, can you make a big knock for us? Come on, come forward. 
We're going to move all the chairs around. We're going to move the table. I didn't touch my torch. Oh. I didn't touch the torch. How does it turn on? With the button. Wait, it didn't even click. It didn't even hear a click. I didn't even hear a click. I didn't turn that on. Can you turn the torch back off? If you've just turned Lisa's light torch on, can you turn the torch off again for me, please? Come on, you're a very powerful man. Could it be a sign that it's shown us the way out? It wants us gone from here, perhaps. Maybe. If you want us gone from here, was it because I said that we were moving your table and chairs? We're going to move them around. I feel like someone's holding my hand, like trying to take the torch out of my hand. My hand's really cold. Yeah. Come on, leave Lisa alone. Come over to us. Come over to this device that's on the table here that's red. If you go near it, it makes noises. Do you want me to sit down at the table? If you want to, yeah. Do you know what I feel like we want to do? Just move all the chairs. Why? No. Oh. <laughs> I didn't touch it, I swear to God, I didn't touch it. It's flashing there, right? Does it flash that tool? I'd hold know. it downwards. So. Come on, do something else to the torch. Oh wow, just what, you know when your, your chest feels really yeah. like it just done that just there. I feel really unwell. I can come down with the flu. Chris? Can I ask, can we put the torch on the table? Do you want me to leave it on or do you want me yeah, to Yeah, no, leave it as it on? is and let's so see what. Pointing that way. That'd be fine, like that, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, that's fine. Come on, turn the torch off for us. There doesn't seem to be anything coming through. Chris, I'm getting quite a lot of vibrations. I'm leaning on this table and I'm getting quite a lot of vibrations. Is there anybody else leaning on no, this? No, I was going to ask that same question because my foot's on the leg of the table, but just lightly. Right. Keeps doing that. Yeah. I thought I assumed you were leaning on it. No, I'm, I've been leaning on it. But my foot and is I've vibrating. It's moving my foot. Right. But I assume someone was leaning on it. Can we not put our hands on here and just sort of upside down and just see if there's anything. So put your hands upside down. Come on, if there's any spirit here, can you move this table? Filling up with something. Does anybody else is filling up? Right? The noises of cutlery or something. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody else's hands feel as if they're filling up with something? Mine have got pins and needles. Steve. No, I'm fine. I've, I've not been affected at all by anything. 
So I, I could just smell like. something. Um, I have a funny, acrid smell. I just smelt it. There is definitely a funny smell yeah. earlier. There is some sort of not normal. Well, I suppose it is normal, but oh, who just done that to the table? Not my Did anyone rocker. just lean on that? My hand rocker. Did anyone else feel that? Yeah, no, my hand. Like a yeah. sieve. Like itself. And we've just had another word come through on the phone. Did the table do that itself? Oh, did you feel that there? Yeah, I felt that. Just lifted from yeah. your side. I felt that. Put your hands back on there, Kurt. Just show my hand off. I feel can that. Can you do that again? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. And she, oh, wow. I can feel this. She can feel this yeah. like a power source underneath the table. Yeah. It is, isn't there? Right, who are you, please? Can you give us your name? Can you come forward that. and tell us who you are, please? That like moving it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's creepy. It's moving, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's really moving. rocking. It's like rocking yeah. back and forth. Yeah. I see it. Can you tilt the table over? If you're really angry that we're here in your space, can you move the table? Can you tilt it over for us? Like a vibration sensor. Mm. It's really weird. Is there any anybody touching with their feet on the bottom of the table no. at all? No, no one is. On the, I've got a camera on the feet. You, you have? Yep. Right, cool. Can't move oh, can you feel that? Yeah. Moving. What, what is going on? Come on, really rock the table. Can you make it move a little bit more? Can I've got to admit, when you, you look at the pedestal part of the table, it does look as though it's moving. Well, unless that's just me, but it seems like it's, it's moving. It's going now. Can you feel yeah. that? Come on, keep going, it's keep going, keep, keep it, make it rock here, make it rock, make it rock. Keep it going, keep it going. I can feel it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Main. Another word's just, just come through. I'm just going to put one finger on the table. Should we just do one finger each? Thing is, if you turn it over, you tend to more move it. If you do it this way, oh. it makes it. You tend not to. Yeah, certainly. Come on, what does the word main mean? Is this your main table? Is this your main area, your main domain? Is it this way you done any of your dealings? It's rocking again. Can you feel that? Come on, make this table rock. Did you play poker games at this table? Did you play for large sums of money? What was that? A footstep, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, it goes. Can you yeah. feel that? Feel yeah, that's more. Come on, keep it going. Keep keep moving that table. Come on. Make that table rock. There's someone here, isn't there? Yeah, there's there is. There is someone yeah. here. What? And yeah, he, he's getting, if anything, I feel isn't he's just not getting happy. He's not well, happy. Can we get him to interact with the equipment on the table? Come on, can you come closer? Can you? Oh, look at oh that! Can goodness. you see? Can you see that on the on the camera? Are you getting that? What the heck? Come on, rock yeah, this can table. Literally feel it. Come on, can you tip it up one side for us? Can you tip it up? Here's our energy. Look at that go. Look. Oh Here's my God. Come on, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Can you not see that? Oh my God, I've got goosebumps. Isabella, right, a name's just come through saying Isabella, but I'm sensing a man. Can you see that table's still rocking? Can you see it, Chris? Is Isabella his wife? Sorry? Isabella his wife or daughter? Isabella, your wife. And she used to come down with him? Come on, keep going, keep going. Come on, communicate with us. We mean you no harm at all. Please, do we just want to learn a little bit about you? We want to make sure that you're at peace. It's still rocking, isn't it? It's yeah. still rocking. Yeah. If there's anything you can tell us, come on. Is there a message that you want us to give anybody? Has anyone else got pins and needles in 
No. Can you see it I've just got, I went goosebump just all goose over, all over. over. Come on, it's here you go. Come on. Watch. Can you just give us another name? Can you just tell us anything? Mm. Touch one of the devices. You're doing absolutely fantastic. And just something that came through, I don't know. It may be on there. Yeah. Too high up. What? Oh, are our hands too high up? I don't know. All oh, right, stop then. Just dead. Didn't it? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Come on, what's too high up? Is there anybody else with their hands on there? Nothing. Yeah, my back's just gone really. Shall we all put, come round and put our hands on? If you want to, yeah. Build up the energy. The more, the better. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to stop the camera then so we can reposition. During our break, we were informed that Lisa felt unwell and unfortunately had to leave to go home. Okay, so welcome back. We're back down in the cellar and we're going to do a Ouija board. We've got the REM pod that's still on and again if you go up close to it it will make a noise and flash the lights. Um, so hopefully we'll um, get some sort of communication with us down here again tonight. So are we all ready? ready? Let's go for it. Who's going to do the Ouija board, you? Yes? You? Yeah? Sandra? Yeah? Okay. Okay. So if we all put a finger on. You start off just in a circle. Make it go around. We actually make it move. Make it move herself. And then, Oops. then you begin to ask your questions. Just rubbing the, the letters oh, off. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Not now. And you just keep it moving, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving, just keep the movement there, the energy going, and then start to ask your questions. Okay, if we have a spirit here, can you tell me, are you a male spirit? You've got the yes on the top left hand corner of the board, you've got the no on the right hand side top of the board. You've got the letters from A to Z going across and you've got the numbers down the bottom from one to 10 or zero to 10. As we kept getting the word go and Callum and Sandra had started to feel affected, we decided to close the board down and move on to our next investigation. Okay, welcome, okay, welcome back. back. Uh, we've come back because Amy and Kathy have now joined us. Uh, currently down here in the cellar there is two, four, six, eight, ten of us um, down here in the cellar. So again, we're using the echo box to see if we can communicate with any spirits. So, Sandra, did you want to call out? Okay. All right, let me just turn this device up. Sandra, it's hopefully going to communicate with you to get a couple of answers from you. Sandra, it's over to you. Are you going to communicate with me tonight? Mum, we were asking them to communicate through the REM pod or the K2. 
Let's move the K2 over there. So make the lights flash on REM pod on K2 for a yes. Can you make the lights flash on the REM pod? Can you tell me your name? Beth, that's the second yeah, it's the second time that's came through, Beth. Are you a lady? Oh, that just flashed then, eh? That red pod. Oh, the K2. Did anyone else see it? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, just really cool, wasn't it? If that was you, Beth, can you flash the light in my hand? Okay, we're back with um, a bit like a Ouija board, but it's um, card with some letters and some numbers on with the pendulum. Just to let you know, Steve and Chris has left us. Um, so we've currently got in the room uh, Rodney, who's holding the camera, Amy, Kathy, myself, Debbie, Colin, Callum, Zoe, and Sandra. I'm sensing that there's a spirit here um, called Beth. Uh, can you confirm what a yes is, please? Can you move the pendulum either into a circle or side to side to tell me what a yes is? Okay, can you tell me what no is, please? Ignoring where the no and the yes is on the board. A yes is a circle and a no is side to side. Have I got a spirit here, a female spirit? Okay, can we stop? Have I got a spirit here called Beth? Using the numbers on the board, can you tell me how old you are, Beth? I'm not too sure if that's a two or a three, so can you confirm, is it a two? Is it a three? Okay, can you give me the second number? Can you give me the second number? Beth, are you three years old? know that there is some background or outside noise or some people that are just going past so can you stop Beth can you confirm that you're three years old can you move the pendulum into a circle if that's a yes thank you Can you confirm for me, or can you tell me, did you send him <coughs> here? Can you stop? 
Did you die here? Sorry, did you die here, Beth? Do you have any of your family members here with you? Do you have any brothers? Do you have any sisters? Can you go to the first letter of your sister's name for me, please? that an A? And what's the second letter of your sister's name? B. What was the name, the girl, or the name that we had earlier, beginning with A? Alex. Alex. We had an Alex, and there was another one. Is it? Beginning with A B. Abby. Abigail. Abig was it Abigail? Abby. I don't remember that. I don't remember that one. No, it came through on the phone, didn't it? Isabel. Isabel. Okay, can you give me the second letter, sorry, the third letter of her name? B. Can you give me the fourth letter of her name, please? Was her name Abby? Is Abby with you? Okay, can you stop? Did you used to play here with your sister? Okay, can you stop? How old is your sister? Okay, can you stop? Did you used to play with her a lot in this room? Did you play a lot with her out in the hallway? Is that where you enjoyed the, the most sort of play out in the hallway? Can you stop? Did you enjoy playing out in the hallway with her? Was that lots of fun? Okay, can you stop? Did you ever play with a ball? out in the hallway. Did you row a, or roll a ball backwards and forwards to your sister? Okay, can you stop? The two sisters we got through the pendulum were confirmed by Sarah, the manager, who said they are active in the room and on the landing. 
However, she cannot confirm their names. After this, we decided it was a fitting time to finish our investigation at the Royal Hotel Sheerness. <laughs>